Our guest in this segment is Michelle Gay. There is a school safety summit that is uh, going to be taking place uh, around the area here. Michelle joins us via telephone to talk about that. Michelle, good morning. Thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You're on with Rob. That would be me, Maria, and Bill. Good morning, Michelle. Good Good morning. Uh, You are the co-founder of uh, Safe and Sound Schools. Tell us about the safety summit that's going to be taking place and give us some specifics if you could. Oh my gosh, it's just around the corner next week. So we're, we're super excited. Monday and Tuesday, we'll be coming to the area for this, uh, this summit, bringing our national level speakers and experts in community and school violence prevention to the area. We're beyond excited. We've got folks coming from clear across the country, as far away as California. Um, gosh, the San Bernardino police are coming all the way out. Um, and I just think that speaks to the level of relevance and and interest you know nationally as well as as right here in in the eastern panhandle so just really excited to bring the community together and bring this level of national expertise to the area tell us about some of the things that we can do to be proactive in school safety well for one you can join us you know folks can still register for the event so we've got lots of space uh you know at the at the venue and um just just lots of programs key takeaways and um really lived experiences that that folks like me you know will share kind of our hindsight um the way we have turned our our pain to purpose to to really try to prevent violence in in other schools and communities but i think practically it's about getting involved you know one of the things that's so powerful about these summits is how it brings together uh, all different agencies schools, uh, public safety professionals, community mental health, you know, nonprofits, all these people that are doing good work in our community, uh, especially in the Eastern Panhandle here, and um, and, and really kind of connecting the dots so that, that we can wrap a tighter safety net around our schools and our communities. Can you share your story with us, Michelle? I sure can. Yeah, my, uh, my work really has its its roots in um, in tragedy, unfortunately. Our our family is is from the Mid Atlantic. I'm, I'm Baltimore born and raised, but uh, we lived for a time in the sweet little town of Newtown, Connecticut, and uh, particularly in the little borough of, of Sandy Hook, where my girls went to school. And on the day of the tragedy, um, two of my girls were were in school that day the older one had graduated and was was proud to be um an intermediate school student a fifth grader at our intermediate school but um that that tragic day struck us very very personally we lost our our youngest daughter josephine then a first grader seven years old along with 19 of her precious little classmates and and six of the most amazing educators i've ever had the privilege of knowing and and working alongside so you know hard hard um times and and just as you might imagine a a point in your life where you're thinking i don't know the way forward i don't i don't know how school could ever be safe i don't know how we could ever you know function moving forward and and yet we found hope in the good people who do this work in our, our communities and, and really want to push up their sleeves and, and, and do the tough stuff, you know, come together, um, unify around this uniquely um, uniting mission of keeping our kiddos and, and our communities safe and sound. You have other speakers, including Frank DeAngelis, who's a retired principal from Columbine, Missy Dodds, who's a survivor of the Red Lake High School shooting. Uh, does this also serve in a therapeutic way for those who participate in it who are the speakers? For sure. Um, you know, everybody has their own path out of a day like like ours. Um, and, and for some of us, it is about putting that pain to purpose. So Frank and, and, and Missy, um, Dr. Frank Straub will be speaking there as well. And um, has you know has his own lived experiences as well. Um, in addition to being uh, a now recognized uh, leader in law enforcement, so you know we have folks that are just dedicated to making sure you know the the hard lessons we've learned don't have to be learned the hard way in in other communities around the country. So we're just 
so privileged to be um, hosting this with Berkeley County and, and the Department of Homeland Security Center for Prevention Programs and Partnerships. They, they really got behind this and, and made this possible, as well as all the hands and hearts in the area. Um, so we're just, we're just thrilled. We've got so many folks coming in and, and room for many more. Maria. Uh, talk a little bit, Michelle, about the logistics of the day, where you're going to be, how people can find out more, um, how long it takes, that kind of thing. So it'll be a two-day event, and two folks can get um, all the all the important information on our website at safeandsoundschools.org. Um, if you look under events, you know, you'll find all the specifics there. Um, but one of the area churches was kind enough to open up their doors to us. So we have lots of space. Um, but we've basically got two days of programming with high-impact keynotes and uh, national-level experts, you know, coming from Department of Homeland Security, um, you know, coming from SBI, you know, a, a lot of, of federal level agencies and experts as, as well as, um, you know, our, our regional experts, as we like to say, um, and folks like us with lived experiences. So it's really a two day event, um, with lots of, of um, amazing sessions and networking opportunities, opportunities to come together around, um, difficult topics and, and engage in conversation and solutions. We've got, uh, partners as well that, uh, you know, have gotten behind this event to, to offset costs. It's a free event, which is just absolutely amazing to be able to bring this caliber of, of speakers and, and experts from around the country. Um, but, yeah, Bethel Church is, is the location right there in Berkeley County. Um, we're, we're so grateful to them. They've been phenomenal partners to us, opening their doors for us. That's and 2010 Tavern Road, by the way. And why here in particular, <laughs> Michelle? So Berkeley County is one of many um, communities that partnered with us um, to bring to bring our level of expertise in into the local area. Um, they applied for a federal level grant and tapped us to uh, to do that that work and that consulting on the ground with them. So um, it's really an honor to be able to work in a community like this. Um, everybody is completely engaged. There's a high level of collaboration between agencies, you know, schools and public safety and mental health and, and all those folks. So this just helps us to tie it a little bit tighter and make sure that, you know, our families, our businesses, um, you know, that everybody in the community is dialed into this work because it really does take all of us to keep our communities and our schools safe and sound. Look, Pacifica, look, look at some of the partners. We have the Berkeley County Commission. We have the uh, uh, Berkeley County Schools, Emergency Management, the Sheriff's Department. So you have a, a full collection of, of active partners. Uh, it's going to be at Bethel. How do people register, Michelle? They can just hop on our website, safeandsoundschools.org, um, and, and click right into events. And, you know, um, it's, it's pretty easy. It just kind of takes you from there. And, and uh, registration is, is completely uh, online. Again, it's free, which is, like, amazing. You know, we host these kinds of summits around the country. And it's pretty rare that we um, are able to offer them, you know, free of charge. But because of the hard work of Berkeley County and uh, our federal-level partners and this amazing grant opportunity, we're able to, to provide this for free. So it's... It's pretty pretty special. Now, the attention right now is on Berkeley County. Uh, how many of these do you have throughout the country uh, in a given given year? In a given year, uh, generally six is about about the average. Um, you know, we'll have we just wrapped our our Northeast summit um, in the Boston area. That was in October. Um, we actually have one in coming up in February in Vancouver. Um, so we're really excited about that. But the, the way it works is we just find good people and we find good partners and um, and we bring this programming in. So, um, yeah, we, we're kind of a traveling road show that way in addition to all the other programs and trainings and resources that we develop at Safe and Sound. Vancouver, Vancouver, Washington, Vancouver, British Columbia. British Columbia. So it's international then, international as opposed to, yeah. It really is. Yeah. yeah, we've definitely got some international engagements. We've been to South Korea, um, you know, just just 
a lot of work virtually as well with um, other, you know, other countries, European countries, mostly English speaking countries. But, um, you know, it's pretty amazing. You open up a website and you you have access to uh, helping a lot of people and, and also benefiting from from their ideas. So it's good stuff. Michelle Gay, our guest here on the program in December 9 and 10 at the Bethel Church of God. There'll be uh, Eastern West Virginia Safety Summit. Uh, that will be taking place. Uh, Michelle and many of the speakers' uh, personal experience, unfortunately, in surviving school shooting tragedies uh, one way or the other or uh, having experienced them, in, in Michelle's case, specifically uh, losing a child uh, to that. And as a parent, that's just something that you don't even want to try to wrap your head around there. I, I can't imagine coming out the other end of that, Michelle, uh, in one way or the other. Uh, I just I just don't know how you make sense of th- something like that. Yet this is something that has become so routine in America, it hardly makes the headlines anymore. It is it is a national level, you know, tragedy that that we're here in this place uh, where we are. And yet I want to contrast that by the fact that there are so many that are prevented. And that's what this conference is really all about. You know, you don't hear about all those near misses and all those saves in our are happening in our communities right now, happening in, in Berkeley County right now in the Eastern Panhandle. And, um, and, and that's what we really seek to do is, is focus on shoring up those efforts, those partners, and making sure that uh, all those, those success stories hit the headlines because that's where we learn. You know, that's where we learn uh, the, the secrets of prevention and, and how, how we can change the trajectory of one life and, and, you know, maintain a safe and sound school and a safe and sound community. So it's uniquely, um, you know, the roots are in, in tragedy, but it's, it's, it's uniquely hopeful work with uh, the very best people. So hope you guys can join us. Well, I know you have to run. I appreciate your time this morning. I thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Thank you so much. Michelle, have a great thank day. You, Michelle. Thank you.